So I'm in the driver's seat now. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take you through some of the user interface features that we've put into uh, version 7 of Power Animator. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is that, like in Studio Paint, I'm using both hands. In my right hand, I have a mouse. In the left hand, I've got this uh, Space Mouse, which is a six degree of freedom uh, input device that lets me uh, pan the, the scene and dolly in and out and so on. Um, it's useful to have two hands because as I'm rotating, I can pick uh, different parts of the model as they come into view. This is actually an animation of a running figure. Uh, up on the top of the screen here is a timeline. You see if I drag the timeline along, you can see the figure moving um, forward and backwards. Now, if I want to play back the animation, like most other programs, I can come up to the right here where I've got a virtual VCR transport control. So I can push the play button and the thing plays. If I want to push the stop button, I can push that. And if I want to go back to the beginning, I can push the button there. Now what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture, of course, is that my eyes are up there at the silly transport controls instead of on the animation that I'm supposed to be controlling. Now that's simply the wrong way around. So what we've done is we've exploited a few of the features of the form factor of the Space Mouse. Now the Space Mouse is interesting from two perspectives to me. One, it's shaped like a hockey puck, but that's probably only, only of interest to Canadians. But second of all, it actually looks like the jog shuttle wheel that you find in any video suite. Now, what that means is that I can just do a little twist clockwise and release, and I advance one frame. I'll do it again. Um, and I can go backwards one frame. Now, the point is, I already know how to do this because I know how to work a video suite. If I want to play, I just tilt it to the right, and it plays forward. If I want to stop, I slap it, and it stops. If I want to go backwards, I go back, I tilt it to the left. Again, stop, forward, stop, backwards, stop, to the end by pushing it to the right, to the beginning by pushing it to the left, and I'll start playing forward. And if I want to watch a transition, I can rock and roll. I can just go forwards, backwards, and go over a segment very, very smoothly. The point is, all along, my eyes are fixated on the screen, and the control is all in the hand, which is where it belongs. And anyhow, I already know how to do it. In fact, I knew how to do it after the first half hour I ever spent in a video editing suite.